2022. 2022 was one of the absolute hardest years of my life. The good, the bad, and the ugly reared its head. Uh, personally and professionally, it was hard, but I still had a good time. I grew a lot, I learned a lot, and the two things I'm gonna let go this year are fear and shame. I've definitely let fear stop me from being my full, awesome self. I've let shame stop me from doing things that I really wanna do. In fear of being an outcast or different from the crowd, <laughs> I'm already bad, but you know, even more different, more out there, more off on to God, if you will. And I'm all right with that. If you're not all right with it, that's not like the you problem. There is nothing I can do for you. I'm out of fucks to give. They're incredibly expensive to even hand out. So I'm gonna reserve them for the people I really don't give a fuck about or the things I don't really give a fuck about. I've definitely had a change in relationships personally and professionally, and I think it's because of growth, and that is absolutely 100% okay. The type of time that I'm gonna be on this year, I definitely know there's gonna be changes in my in my circles. I want something different for my life, and in order to want something different, you gotta do things differently. And everybody might not be able to accompany you on that journey, and it's okay. You're gonna make new acquaintances, new people you can call family or friends along the way. <laughs> definitely okay with that. In terms of professionally, yeah, I only booked one commercial, but all the other roles I received were given to me because I'm 100% that bitch. Don't get it fucked up. I play humble, but inside my heart, I'm a very competitive spirit. That's the Aries in me. I do not fuck around nor play about that. Oh, did I say good morning? Hey, y'all, good morning. Uh, I hope y'all have a great 2023. Yeah, because I'm ready. Thank you.